I told you I would show you how to do it. So today we're going to look at Flux Redux. So it takes an input image and gives you a similar output image. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Comfy. We're going to be using this workflow. Oh, and I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. Uh, this workflow is free. You can download it from my Patreon. Don't worry. You can just go into the link. It's open for everyone. There is more content there that is locked behind stuff, bang, paywall, but some of the stuff is free. So you can just go there. Link's going to be in the description. You're going to see this. Flux Redux. You're going to have instructions of what to do. Basically, download the workflow that's down here. But uh, one, update the latest version of Comfy UI. If you don't know how to do that, you can go into your Comfy folder and up here, just type CMD, get that window up and type git pull, and that will get you the latest files. Once that's done, you're going to download the Flux Redux Dev Safe Tensors. That's going to be found on this link here. It's going to look something like this. So you take this, download that, and you place it into your, let's see here, Conf UI models, style models. So that would be your models, style models. And here we have the model. Then we're going to download this file and we're going to place it into Conf UI models clip vision. So that would be the clip vision right here. And here we have that file. And it's 800 megabytes. It's not too big. Uh, this requires do you have a Flux dev base model already installed, whether as FP8 or FP16, doesn't matter but you need to have that and the text encoders. If you don't have that, uh, go to one of my previous guide, how to install Flux. After you put all of them in the folder and downloaded this workflow, just drop it into your Comfy and you will see something like this, which is basically the default Flux Redux workflow. I changed it a tiny bit. So I added a different node here by Kijai. So this node um, is what's applying the Redux model but it has a feature that it can also change the strength similar to what you can do in ControlNet. Uh, but all of these nodes, you really don't need to do anything with. So all the important stuff is up here. So we have step one, load your image. Step two, set your image size. Step three, adjust your strength. Now I, I put here zero to one, it's actually a slider that can go higher. Uh, but I don't think you want to do that. I actually found that you want to probably be in lower values when it comes to this. And if you want to deviate from the image here, yeah, I mean, I mean, you need to go to like 0 0.1 uh, around those values and write a prompt. Futuristic robot woman is what I have right now. So that would give me a similar looking image to this one. If you're writing a completely different prompt, like Nordic Viking woman in, in the woods, you might want to lower your strength to like 0 0.1 or 0 0.15, 0 0.2 maybe. There's also going to be a couple of notes here. So have some the same install install instructions that you had in uh, the Patreon guide. So update, download the models, download the models, etc. There's actually how to get the base models in here too if you do need that. But those are Flux Dev. Uh, text encoder, I'm using the FP16 one, and the clip L. Uh, and yeah, and the VE, which is the AE.safe tensors. This is all basic for Flux. So yeah, that's all you need to do. And if you were to generate this now, you would get a futuristic robot woman that looks similar to the left one here. Now let me see if I can generate this as I am recording. I will notice that in a second. Now you can have multiple load image nodes and have multiple inputs. You can merge images together uh, and that and then you would duplicate this node style model apply advanced and just have that after this in the chain. So it would come after this and just continue on and just load a new image into that. You see, you would know to load the image into clip vision encode. You would need a new clip vision encode and a new style model apply advanced. And looking at our result here, we have this futuristic robot woman. Do you think it is similar to this one here? I think it's very similar. Now the actual character is not the same robot, but as you can see, I mean, it's very similar. The background is very similar. 
You have a couple of people walking around here. You have the same, the same kind of structure, the same hair and sort of the same-ish helmet. But it's not the same. It's same-ish. It's similar. It's not the same. And that's what's cool about this. So that's a super simple way of how to get Flux Redux working. All right, so let's try something else. I'm just going to drop this image in here. Just some Flux portrait I generated. Let's set portrait of a man with long hair. Let's lower this a little bit, maybe 0.5. Let's test that and let's generate. So 0.5 was enough. So I had to generate again. I actually put this to 0.1. And now we actually uh, got a man and now we're further away from what we had here initially. So you're gonna have to play a little with the strength value here. It seems to be a little finicky, but this is Flux Redux. It's IP adapter for Flux and it seems very, very powerful. And especially at uh, higher strengths, I'm sure there's gonna be workflow improvements of how you can change styles, use lower strengths, etc. But it's a great start of how you can get set up with Flux Redux. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Maybe Flux Control it. Well, we'll see.